Hi, everybody. Welcome. And today we are going to start talking about making live loops and using BandLab. So to start this, you are going to go to the website bandlab.com. And this is the page you are going to see. You are going to need to click sign up and create an account. Then you're going to click the G icon for signing up with Google. And you are going to use your school account to sign up. Now I've already made an account, so I'm going to use a different email address, but you are going to sign into your school account on Google. Now, once you do that, it's gone. It's not going to take you to this page right away. If it's your first time logging into BandLab, you're going to be asked to set up a profile. So you're going to make a name, a username, and then just put down your interests. If you just want to put other, that is totally okay. But once we get to this screen, or your screen will look a little different on an iPad, but it's going to have some of the same features. So we have this button in the upper right hand corner that says create. And that is what we are going to click to start our composition. Or if you are on an iPad, this orange button is going to be in the bottom part of your screen. But either way, you are looking for an orange plus button. Then what I'm going to do is because I'm going to use live loops for this project, I'm going to click browse loops on a computer. If you are on an iPad, you are going to click the option that says looper. Okay, so if you're on an iPad, you're going to click the option that says looper. I am going to browse loops and what you are going to see are a bunch of different packs that come up. And you can search by genre, which is styles of music, if you would like. So if you want electronic music, if you want hip hop music, if you want pop music, you can decide which live loops you would like to use for your first project. Now, I think I want pop. So I'm going to click on pop R&B. I'm looking through this. I think I want to do retro city pop. Now, you can take some time and explore excuse me, and decide what you want for your first set of loops to be. But what I can do is I can play through these loops and decide what I like the sound of. So I might listen to all of my bass loops and decide that I really like the second one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag it into this track and then I'm going to drag it all the way down to the beginning so that it's starting my piece. Then I am deciding I want some beats with it. So I like these beats so I'm going to drag these in and add them as well. Now what you're going to notice here is that these beats are significantly smaller than this bass line. If you'd like these beats to happen more than once what you're going to do is you're going to double click click copy and then you're going to double click in the empty space and click paste and it's going to create another set for you and you can keep doing that if you would like this loop to go for the whole length of that first loop and i think i would so i'm going to paste like that and now that i have a bass and a beat I think I want some melody as well. So I'm going to go down to where it says there's some keyboards. I'm going to listen to a few. And I decided I really don't like the sound of those. So I'm going to go up to guitar. And I do like the sound of that. So I'm going to add that to my loop as well. And again, same thing, I can drag it so that it's at the start. And then if I want it to happen more than once, I can copy and paste it so that it is a part of this section of loops. From there, I'm gonna add one more thing to this loop. So, I like how this sounds. So that is gonna be my choice. And again, if I want it to be the whole length of everything else, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it so that it's there as well. And sometimes you'll have to move it around to get it to where you'd like it to go. So I have decided this is my first loop. So I can take a listen to everything together and see if I like it. And 
And after listening to it, I've decided I like it. So what I just created in this loop project is my A section. So we're going back to form, which we've talked about previously. This is my A section. And for the assignment that's in Google Classroom right now called Live Loops Composition, you need to include a B section as well. So for that, uh, you can do the same pack or you can do a different pack. And I think I am going to choose to do a different pack. And you can take some time and decide if you like how the packs sound together, if you don't, and decide what you want. But I'm going to go with electric mood for today and I'm going to listen through and decide if I like what I'm hearing. And now I like this one, so I'm going to drag and drop and drag it back over to here. And then I decide I need some beats with this one as well. And if I like them, I can drag and drop just like before. And again, same idea here. If you want it maybe to start a little later, you can do that. So then I'm gonna copy and paste it so that it is present in the rest of this section of loop for my B section. Again, that B section is something that sounds different. So there's my B section started. Oh my goodness, excuse me. And then I would like to add yet some melody. So I'm going to go and listen to the keyboards. And see which one I like. And when I found one I like, I'm also going to drag and drop that into my composition as well. So I've decided that this is what is going to make my B section of my composition, but it's a little short and I think I want my B section to be longer. So I'm going to copy and paste it so that I have it twice. Whoops. And if I want to undo something, I can just click command V or copy or control V if you're on a, um, if you're on a Chromebook or basically not a MacBook. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to copy it. And then I want to paste it over here. And again, sometimes you got to move it around. It can be a little bit of a pain, but I'm going to move it here. And I decided I don't want my piano or I don't want my drums the second time. Let's do so. But I am going to copy and paste my piano. And again, I'm going to move it to where I would like it to be. Oops. Be careful, as you just saw what I did, is I accidentally moved it over and it deleted parts. So you'll have to make sure to do that. So now I have my B section. I want to take a listen to how my A and B sections sound together. And then from there, you can decide if you like that or not. And if you decide that you like it and you have an A section and a B section, that means you're ready to hand in this project. So what you're gonna do is you are going to give it a name. That is the most important step is that you are giving this project a name. Since the name of our assignment is Live Loop Composition, that is also what I am going to call this assignment. And then I can click save to make sure that my work is saved. It is very important that you do that. And now you see that this loop is saved just now. From there to share it into your Google Classroom assignment, what you are going to do is you are going to click publish. So publish means that this will be viewable to other people, including myself. So that way, I can see your assignment. So first thing you're going to do is publish. And then I'm going to click continue because I'm not concerned with what genre it's part of. So now this that this is published and it's processing, that'll take a little bit of time, which is fine. You're going to click share. And it's going to give you the option to share it in a couple different ways. 
I'm going to click down to share or embed, share or embed. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to copy this link. So by clicking copy, it's copied. Then I'm going to go into our assignment on Google Classroom. Again, it's called Live Loops Composition. Now you're not going to see the same things that I'm going to just because of me being a teacher, but you're going to go into your private comments of your assignment and on live loop composition, you are going to paste the live loop composition you just made that has an A and B form. So that is our start of using BandLab and how to use live loops.